Tim Brando, Spencer Tillman, and Tony Barnhart from our College Football Today studios here exclusively for CBSSports.com. Gentlemen, allow me to start off our discussion with a few thoughts. Whether or not we agree on the legitimacy of college football's national championship process, no longer can we simply point the finger at the university presidents and the six conference commissioners who broker the deals as the only culprits in this unique cartel known as the BCS. Earlier this week, a new four-year contract worth over a half billion dollars was consummated, moving the property from Fox to ESPN. One has to wonder, despite a 40% increase in rights fees, if during the negotiation any pressure was brought upon the BCS to improve its product with, at worst, a plus-one model. This was the moment that all college football fans looked to as a chance for improvements to be made to enhance the sport for the greater good. Despite the criticisms of the BCS we're all given the liberty to make, as well as the solutions we're encouraged to propose, it seems that in the end the executives in our business are now just as responsible as the university presidents and the conference commissioners for where we are and where we'll stay in college football's postseason. All of us in TV should look in the mirror and say we found an additional obstacle, and it is us. Well, Tim, your, your passion is duly noted, but let me argue this from the president's point of view, guys. You're assuming that they view their product as broken right now. The fans perhaps do. But in terms of the president's responsibility, they want to extract as much value as they possibly can out of this current arrangement. And that's their job, and that's the responsibility. So they didn't consult with the fans or you and I. Mm. They operated much like they do when they hire coaches. They work within and do what they're <laughs> supposed to do from their vantage point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and guys, look, a commissioner told me this a long time ago. Changing the BCS is like turning around a battleship. Oh, mm, it takes a whole good. lot of time. Timmy, I promise you, you're going to get what you want, my friend. But it's going to happen six years from now when Mike Slive, the SEC commissioner, put the plus one on the table at the BCS meetings, he knew it was going to get shot down. But all what we saw this week is setting the table for the next contract when all the Rose Bowl and all the contracts line up, mm -hmm. then ESPN will use its clout yeah. to get what I think will be a format change and the largest contract in the history of college sports. All right, fellas, but power and control is usually held by those that have the hammer, and the hammer is cash. And if you have the opportunity to enhance it financially, mm -hmm. why not? Why not at least say, let's improve this product? We're not talking about a full-scale playoff. In yeah. fact, you can have a plus one without even moving the date back another week. Yeah. They chose not to do that. And I understand your point about the president's. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get more cash without having to change anything, go ahead and take it. But it's on us that we filter more money and funnel it into a process that's flawed. Well, Tim, you got to go back and look at their financial model. At the end of the day, their model says if we open the field and we broaden it up to more participants, that lessens our take in this equation. Right now, they can control the number of participants in it and maintain that bounty for them. So that, that's, that's where it comes down to. You're right and, about the money. And understand, we're going to be talking about this a lot over the next four years. That's how it's going to get changed. So you think you're going to have a, a little issue when you take <laughs> off as President-elect Barack Obama? <laughs> got more than you ever bargained for with college sports. <laughs> And remember, we'll be with you Saturday afternoons throughout the season on the College Football Today.